Welcome to video animation class with Seclemit Hope. Today we'll be talking on how to export video. In, remember last time we treated on how we can change our scribe hand. So after creating your videos, your beautiful advert jingles and maybe storylines or whatever, how do you share it on different social media platform or on your desktop or your laptop or your phone how do you share it first of all you need to export it after creating the video the videos how do you export it now for example let's check out this ashley advert this is the advert that i created for a client and after creating a video like this how do you export it how do you send it to the client for the client to see okay let's quickly play so this is the advert as you can see that's the advert I as you keep playing but after creating a video like this remember you save it once you click on the save it asks for the scribe name and you put in the name and whatever you want to create you click on and you click ok now this is to export but you don't use this to export to a file if you click on this i want to export to a file one you won't be able to assess this assess the your video it will be stored as dot scribe the extension name will be dot scribe on your system if you use this method if you go back to go and check the extension will be described which you cannot play on your video player like um, vlc or your windows player video player then you cannot save it there this one is just to save for your on your video scribe and once you are done you click ok or for example you can still save it online make sure if you want to save it online make sure you have maybe you have an internet access you click to save it you save a copy to online scribe if you want to save it there you can also click there to save it but if you want to export it you click on this share button which is download or publish scribe video once you click on it make sure your you have internet access before you click on the share because if you don't have it it's going to take a very long time for it to play now you can add your logo if you wish to for you share the video and also if you want to download the video you can download the video this is the method that we are going to use to download on our system here is to share the link just to share the link here is to share it directly to to publish it directly to your youtube channel this one is to share it on vimeo and this one is to download as your powerpoint template you want to download it as your powerpoint template if you want your video to zoom at the end you can click and you can click on this and zoom in. but i don't want my video to zoom at the end so that's why i uncheck it so this is it. you want to download it you click on this change it to whatever you want you want it image this this you select it but the default setting is avi leave it at avi the hd should be standard you can increase it you can decrease it but i usually leave mine at standard hdi and the frame 25 leave mine at 25 so that's the name the location that you want it to carry to choose a location but i want it to display on my desktop so that's where i want it to be and i select the folder desktop whatever you want it to any folder that you want it to go to you can select it and you click okay once you click okay start rendering you will see a ren rendering your scribe you see it is moving once you see you are going to see this is rendering until it completes here it start moving here once you see it is rendering till it completes this cycle so let me pause the video and we are going to come back once it is done rendering okay welcome back so our video is done rendering let's go and check on our desktop you see here ashley have it that is done let's click on our play store see remember i not put any background sound music so this is it that is playing on our video script the format is an avi the video is an avi so if you play it on some video player it will not play if you carry it to your phone share it to your phone you will not play so there is an app that you can use to reduce the size and also convert it to an mp4 where you can play on whatsapp and other social media I'll, i'm going to drop the link where you can download the app the app is video converter you can reduce the size so after getting this video you know there are videos that you get for a very a very large size and if you carry this video directly um, on your social media it will not play so what what you need to do is to use the app called video converter which is there on the link you check the description of my video and you're going to see the link make sure you download it and if you don't know how to go about the app just drop a comment and i'm going to make a video on it but if you know you can leave it so with this we have come to the end of our class so on our next class we are going to see how we are going to add images svgs svg which is also scalable vector graphics 
and character element to our videos so we have been adding text so now we want to add images on our next video thank you see you next time goodbye